We are live for a Wednesday night version of Cav HQ. Your host, Cav Boss, with my faithful sidekick James. We're gonna That's be me. we're gonna be spending the oldies tonight from A to Z. <laughs> starting with Aerosmith. Here we go. Aerosmith, just play the music. I don't know. Can can we even say their name on Twitch right now? I think you can say their name. They have absolutely gone crazy with music uh, stuff here lately. I would, you, you better not hum a line you, of their not, songs. Oh, no, they're, yeah. They blanked a couple of ours out that Chris did for Beethoven mm -hmm. songs. So, wait, wait a minute, who, oh, Beethoven surely is in the public domain. It is, but not the the group that played it, apparently. Gosh, how, how do they listen to Beethoven and know that it was Orchestra XYZ and not Orchestra ABC. They, the, the, do... the email that they sent with the list was right down the deal. I could look at the exact songs that he played. They knew exactly wow. which ones they were. So they I'm impressed. That's, that's, yeah. that's powerful technology. Yeah, completely deleted the whole, uh, all the audio. So, well, he hello, Hobby Habit. There he is. Yep. The one man purchasing crew. Welcome to our crazy, crazy night. Yeah, so so I, I I recommend since Twitch has got such high tech analysis things, we need to work them into the background of CAV. They need to be some sort of component manufacturer in the production of CAV's audio systems or something. I don't know. I'm just impressed that they can puzzle that stuff out so well. I need to put in, I've always, I want to put in a version, you know, uh, uh, Mitsubishi has their high end, the stuff that they use for all building their ships and planes and everything. And it's called, yeah. I believe it's called heavy, heavy industry, something it's heavy, something. It's just kind of a, a crazy sounding yeah. name, but it's just kind of a cool, I thought it was cool. Something you can work into the backstory. Yeah, yeah it's hey, heavy I something. I, I was looking through the cab book the other day, and, and, and I wish I had it in front of me. I didn't think to bring it up. But there's a full color plate there near the front of the book with a street scene that's got a car parked along the curb. It seems like it's parked. Are you familiar with that picture? Uh, are you? Are you looking? Oh, at you've it? got the book there. Are you looking at what, it? What, what? What a coincidence! Um, that's that one. Not on. No, it's a little further inside. It's kind of a rainy, bluish cast. So. Oh. Sort of uh, image. Yeah, yeah. Is that a BMW? Uh, I have no idea. Look at the mustache. Does it have the BMW mustache? Kind of does, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? So BMW is a, is a thing in CAV. I'm I'm happy to. Well, hear I that. know there's a, there's a Honda motorcycle up there. Nice. And oh, BASF is in there too. They make everything better. Oh, they used to. I'm not sure they still do that anymore. Well, <laughs> Wasn't that the the company that made like real real tapes or things like that? Yeah. Well, they still do. They they are uh, they're all they're a technology company now. They just sell uh, if like if you're making a design in a glue, they come to mm -hmm. you and go, "Hey, we've got this chemical that we've developed that's going to make your glue ten times better." And that's that's what they I do see. now. But and they're big, still big military. They do a I lot. Didn't know they that. Do a lot of stuff. Military. I remember that commercial that you quoted just a minute ago. By the way, you better be careful about that. That might be part of the project. Yeah. Uh, don't use catchphrases. <laughs> I do run, run, run. I do run, run. All right, that's it. We're <laughs> off. We're offline. That's it. Demonetize. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they I, they sent me a big long email again the other day explaining all their what they're doing and why they're doing it of course they're trying to be defensive about it and say it's you know we're Not only doing fault. it because they're stopping us hmm. i don't know it seems sometimes i mean it is, I mean, it is. I, and we're i'm a creator i build things and i look at things and stuff like that but by the same token you know if bob is doing some little twitch show for his 20 friends and wants to take a picture out of cab and put on his background or something like that. That's not. Hmm. Sometimes they get a little crazy, especially after they've made 50 or $60 million, you know, <laughs> Hey, I need another million. 
yeah, I mean, there's a that's a whole night's conversation. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's a line, you know, and and they've gone back, you know, they used to be the reason they always claimed was if you didn't defend it, you would lose it, you know. Mm -hmm. And and even you still get like on the trademark page and they say something like that, but it's been popped over and over and over. The only time that you that they can really do that is if um, you knowingly know that, you know, some big company is using all your stuff or whatever and you don't say anything, it gets a little gray mm -hmm. area there. But because the local liquor store decided to paint a picture of Mickey Mouse on the side of the building, I don't think you need to be worried. It's funny you mention that. Um, near where I work, there's a gas station. Uh, it's an off-brand gas station, but it's a it's 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 a nice one. It's clean, big, you know. It's a all right place to go, and its name is Batman. Don't ask me how. Don't ask they me even how. have just, the logo yeah, or a just, very similar logo. Somebody just hadn't caught wind of it or whatever. A company it's been there for years. Here's and it's kind of you know it's kind of a gray area, but so our company sponsored a trip to Walt Disneyland or Disney World, I guess. The Florida's Disney World. So so down to Florida for, for that. So we wanted to purchase uh, shirts commemorating the event or whatever. Okay. So Disney wanted, I don't know, $50 a shirt or something like that, you know, and we're like, oh, we ain't. You know, we're not buying $50 shirts for 3,000 people. So uh, so the boss man comes to me and he goes, hey, we need something to kind of be, you know, without being or whatever. So I thought about yeah. it and did everything. So I ended up, I'm, I took three balloons. I had one balloon and then two little balloons above it. So if you kind of yeah. looked at it, it kind of looked like the... Disney uh, the guy. deal, but yeah. it was three balloons with strings coming off of it. Mm -hmm. Disney saw that shirt and made us take every one of them shirts back and destroy them because of three wow. balloons that was a similar shape to the mouse ears. Hmm. And of course, whether, you know, my company, the company wasn't going to fight it. You know, I mean, they're not going to, let's go to, go to, go, uh, Mono a mono with Disney and their lawyers over t shirts. A t shirt, yeah. yeah. So they, okay, whatever. What was I'm like, you guys, you're pushing it for, for that. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's that story. All right. What have you been doing this? Okay, so you've been doing, you, you did your second week of your Monday Madness, miniature Madness painting. That's my name. I, by I, the it way. doesn't. It doesn't deserve a name. It's not good enough. It hasn't why, earned why a name you, yet. I've got to call your wife and tell her to take away all the sharp objects. Eh. Oh. It's just the way I am. I know. I have high standards. I thought you did great. I, it's all right. Other, than, well, other, like said, other it's, than your little sound issue, which we already talked about. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Muted myself. That's probably what I deserved. Anyway, <laughs> I am... Um, you know, to me, every model that I paint um, reaches that point where it's you're like, oh my god, what have I done? This is like a terrible thing. I, I I should never paint again. I should throw away all my supplies. This thing is horrible. That's pretty much where that anti cav gun is. But you know, <laughs> I've learned over the years to just keep painting. When you get to that point, you just close your eyes and you keep painting, and um, it'll work out in the end. It, it'll be something that I won't be. I mean, I'm looking to see what you're going to do. I will say that I thought the color combination was a strange. It's, it's, but, but it's, it's, it'll get darker. Yeah, it's, it went, I know you've got a long way to go with it. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see what the, what the final yeah. version is. So, and then uh, I missed my terrain show last night due to circumstances out of my control. But Chris jumped in at the last minute to make sure we had something going on. And he started showing off some 28 millimeter cab figures. So if you didn't get a chance to well, watch any of that, you might go check those out. I mean, they are technically cab miniatures, right? They are, they are there. There'll be uh, figures from each of the factions and they'll be called, mm -hmm. they'll be named that. 
um, it's going to kind of kick off our, um, we're kind of going to do like a somewhat generic miniature figure line, uh, 28 millimeter figures. Um, so you'll have, you'll see Cav stuff, Cav inspired stuff in there, but you'll see some other kind of um, mm -hmm. fan or sci-fi stuff, maybe some sci-fi monster stuff like that. Um, Ooh, I like the sound of yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, there's some cool things that we could do that would be more of a sci-fi. I mean, you, you know, there's um, there's not a lot of role-playing, sci-fi role-playing, but it has picked up with um, yeah. uh, Starfinder and, and Cyberpunk's getting ready to come out again. And, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lots of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that we can do. I mean, there's we can, you know, some modern military figures are, can go in there. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It'll be something that will um, kick off at some point next year. It's, it's part of it with our new process coming in. Um, you know, we have the ability to do all that in-house going forward. So, you know, we'll take advantage of it. Have the capacity, you might as well do something. I agree. By the way, we did come up with a name for our new process. It is called, mm -hmm. it's called Dual Cast. Dual. Dual cast. cast. E U A L okay. apostor dash cast. C A S T. Interesting. It has dual properties because it has properties of both resin and plastic. So there's there's a nice. little uh, background on the name. See, so you didn't want to call it rastic or pleasant? No. No, I didn't want to get quite quite. Come that on, those are great ideas. But we'll have I'll have more of announcements about that. Um we're going to have some opportunities for people to get their hands on some of the figures because um, I have yeah. big boxes of them that came in. Big. Oh, you got samples. I do. Ooh, you should, shiny samples. You should samples. be watching the mail um, here in the next day or two. All the, all, you... all the painters and stuff got a whole little thank you box Ooh. headed their way. Well... I, I'm not sure why you would send me one, but okay, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm just full of myself tonight. I'm not going to give myself any mercy. I'm telling you. Get oh, get away from the knife. <laughs> it's only about four feet away. There's three or four exactly. Oh, away. gosh. Well, I'd, listen, if you want to kill yourself with an exacto, go for it. You really are cruising for a bruise in there. Desperate, yeah. No, no I'm, I'm fine. Just It's just only a, it's only a, a flesh wound. I, it's been a long time since, well, not a long time. I, I, I need to finish something. I mean, the problem is I've started three or four different little hobby projects and none of them have come to fruition. So I, I need to just sit down and finish one. So I'm going to try and knock out this, this anti-tank. Um, well, I, I mean, I guess I can't knock it out. I need to paint it on stream. So crap, that's frustrating. Maybe I'll finish that uh, Kodiak up. I'll do the edge highlighting and finish his base this weekend. Well, and I also plan on, you know, some people getting a hold of some people that's produced some content out there. Um, by the way, Hobby Habit, I watched your video. Uh, very entertaining. Um, work on getting something flatter for them to stand on. But <laughs> really took the bases off. They were, they were rolling and flying everywhere there. So, but no, it was a good video. So, uh, but I want to, you know, people that are doing some content or stuff, we might be getting a hold of them and, and getting some figures headed their way to get some early reviews in um, so that people can kind of start seeing what it is we're talking about. I think everybody's going to be very, very impressed with the new stuff. I hope, I, I hope so. I'm excited. I've, I've, I've seen some samples of it in person. I, I think it's impressive as all hell. I think it's fantastic. Well, good. See, there you go, Jay. So that got you excited. Got hobby excited. I'm ex Everybody's yeah, excited. Literally. Sexy new models, bring it on. I'm but all anyway, about it. But yes, that, that's, sounded, that sounded bad. Figures that are cast with our new process that we have worked on and put together, uh, we will refer to as dual cast or DC. Dual cast. Yeah. Okay. Dual cast will be the overall process that we've developed. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We'll probably, you know, for particular lines like cav we'll probably call it you know cav dc or something like mm -hmm. that to but um so we're getting all that put together we'll be doing new blister cards and mm. really pushing this process up so and you'll probably see you some other companies coming out because 
um, we've already landed some uh, contract jobs. Really? Yep. Nice. Um, when you update the web store with the new models yep. or the old models in the new material, will you mark the entry to let people know that they're getting the, the dual cast? Yes. Well, and they're actually already marked. If you, if you ever go in there by, the, we basically had three different processes through the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. So if you, if each one of them are, it details, there is a note on there where, where mm -hmm. it came from what level it is, but we'll continue on with the C stuff. I'm really excited to hear about these these science fiction monsters. I, I, especially if we can get some that are, you know, a little bigger than, you know, just like zombies, maybe right. something, you know, hulking a little bit. I, I just love the big, the big weird stuff that that is hard to get your hands on right obviously it's hard to sell if it's too weird but you know i i'm just excited to see what you guys do with that it, there's not a i mean reaper does some sci-fi models but the selection is pretty small yeah uh sure any you can make any kind of request that you want about the store i'm not updating the store right this moment so if it's something don't expect it for a while <laughs> but but uh, well we can always make changes try to anyway Cthulhu heard new models and he came in to win something. That's why he's here. Yes. He says, don't let his wife know about it. Well, let's, <laughs> I, I need to let her know because I think she buys like double the whatever you buy. Could you put the model numbers after the names? Uh, we can. The reason why the number is in front so that the alphabet filter works. Uh, okay, I can see. Yep. Constantly polishing, just improving things a little bit here and there. Eventually end up with a shiny, shiny store. I think oh. the reason that numbers originally went in there is because our retailers use the website, the store as well. That's what they order from. And they generally always look at everything by number. So but we, can but see, we can see what we can do to make the filters work. John, we are more important than the retailers. Well, I, I get it, but the retailers were the ones that griped and wanted changes first. So first those we'll, retailers. We'll have to we'll have to figure out how to make it all work. Ooh. I did manage to um uh, I managed to get that uh, turret off of that Cossack that you sent me the other day. The one that was glued that together. Already glued. Yeah. yeah. I did manage to skip to get that to come apart on stream on Monday. Oh, I was going to, I meant to, when you said something about it, that I was going to tell you, you can always uh, just drill them from the bottom. Yeah. That'll pop it out. And it may be, um, Ilmarin, um, I'll see, we may have the option to kind of organize how it, how it chooses. Because it may choose, you might be able to go in and set a rule so that it first sorts by product number and then sorts by name, since there's a space between them. So we'll see if we can make that work too. That might be the the way way to do them. So it's because if you do, you can do that with an Excel sheet. You know, if you you can pick which columns how you want it to sort, as long as there are spaces between things or whatever. So um, I think we can do that. So that may be the way to set it up, rather than change everything. Uh, so I didn't get very much stuff worked on cav wise for the last week. Mm. Um, I'm hoping to get back on track for that tomorrow. I haven't put very much content out on the pages or I've haven't moved all our videos over to YouTube yet. There's a, I'm backlogged on the, it's never ending. Jay. It is. Pa it's, past it's, the exacto it's a busy night. place. Yeah. Past the exacto. <laughs> night. I'm sure there's, you could just go down the stairs. You'll be, uh, yeah, you could take I'll care of that. Take a header off the stairs. Yeah. That, that, that way the wife will get the insurance. Absolutely. It was an accident. It was a work accident. And then I'll, swear. I, several of us will volunteer to help her come up and clean up the Cab HQ collection oh, of man. stuff. Yeah. No problems there. You better be quick because I think she's pretty much told me that it's all going in. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's got a, 
torch the place. So I said, I'll put a list together, tell you what to do with them. No. She's Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen for a long, long time. I hope not. But uh, so anyway, so that's that's kind of what we're working on right now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, as usual, finish up the Flashpoint JOR campaign book uh, continues on. Check with her. Bias is working with me, on it. so checked in with him. I guess see where we're. Um, Chris has been designing some new models. Got the Herzog done, the artillery piece for rock. And then he did the, the Akula, which was the hovercraft rocket thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, another Amazon model. Yeah, they're, they're padding out nicely. They are. Well, we had, they were, you know, we had a bunch of those already done for the last Kickstarter and we didn't right. get in, or not the last one, the second one. And we didn't get a whole lot of Amethyl. I think we ended up with four or five Amethyl Kickstarter. So now we're we're catching, trying to catch those up so that the Amethyl have more stuff to use from. Because it's become a pretty popular faction, actually. They have a lot of nice models. I don't and that, and part part of that probably because there's a, everything and it's new. You know, there's yeah, there, yeah, we yeah, didn't we yeah. didn't redo anything for it, so everything's fresh and out out the door. Um, and I think that's the samples are, I think there is the Amethyl Cobra, the mm -hmm. new Despot B, and okay. the uh, Chiseki 2. I think those are the three samples. All right. Plane, a nice. tank, and a calf. Um, what else? My brain's you not working very good. The very first uh, Tuseki sample that they sent here, I think you mentioned it. It was there was something not quite right about it. That very that one that they sent you. That what it was, of course, they're not. They don't know our miniatures, you know, so they don't. Mm -hmm. I, you know, they didn't go back, I guess, and check it against the real. But the back of the wings did not form. But that's just a right. casting issue, which they addressed and have fixed. Yeah. So all the that's... new, all the new, th all the samples that we just got in and stuff are all got the correct. Awesome. That's exactly where I was going with that. Yeah, it's just they turn the, I guess, turn the pressure up a little bit, pushes it further into. The... Yeah. So. I, I'm once you have that thing installed, I would love to come up and just check it out, see how it works. I, I'm excited. I I work in a gigantic manufacturing plant, uh, but so I'm kind of interested in those sorts of processes, right. and it's really interesting to see the small scale version of it. I'm excited to get up to get a chance to uh, to witness the, the 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 new plastic, the dual cast machine. Well, thank you for subscribing, Valkyrie KTD. Welcome to the fold. What? Yeah, subscribe. New subscribe. That's crazy. Hey, we'll get to eat this week. <laughs> uh, the the main thing that you need to make sure is that you if you hear blood sacrifice mentioned at all at any time during the putting the machine in don't be here mm -hmm. okay okay i'll wait till you have do your first uh, yeah until you know we're up and running but like i said if you hear blood sacrifice mentioned in a sentence don't be here oh. crazy technology you never know what you've got to do to make it work might be a week of bad words uh, have you watched anything new interesting you know, John, I I was off on vacation last week, and I did like a, a bunch of home projects, painting and shelves and light fixtures and stuff like that. So I was pretty busy. I didn't really get much in the way of hobby stuff done or 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 movies or anything like that. I did um, on my birthday. I received some new speakers to uh, change out my surround sound system with. So I've been like um, playing music like a little fifteen-year-old boy from the you know. 70s right kind of <laughs> and uh, annoying the crap out of people in my house because you know my stereo system is pretty powerful and i like loud music sometimes rock and roll so, yeah. man. just been having a good time all right 
Yeah, because I mean, there's, uh, you know, I keep, there's not a whole lot of sci fi on good sci We burn through obsolete pretty quick. Yeah, God, I watched that while I was waiting on you to come back. Yeah, <laughs> so we need more of those to come out. And uh, yeah, I, I was talking to my brother uh, earlier today and he told me, I guess he subscribed to what, what's the new Apple Plus or whatever, whatever their streaming yeah, okay. service is or whatever. But right. I guess there's um, some series on there called Mystic Quest or something like that. Hmm. It's um, kind of the, the background of an online MMO. The, the people, it's okay. with kind of a comedy that he said was really funny. So he described a couple of things out of them. So I may go check it out. A um, friend of mine gave me a new fantasy series to listen to. So I've been uh, over on Audible quite a bit the last week while I was working, just listening to it, um, trying to get the world down in the back of my head. It's pretty good stuff. I'm still trying to put it all together. I am reading. I started, I, I read a series by this guy already. I think his name is Rick Gentry, maybe. Yeah. But he started a new series that is called, I think the first book is Wholesale Slaughter. Well, that's a name. Yes, but it is a it's a mech um, series. Interesting. That are the only thing the only thing that I that I don't enjoy is, you know, people try to 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 try to insinuate that a certain company owns the rights to the word mech, and mm. and they do not. So uh, some people think that they do, and so anytime they write, they say Mecca instead of Mecca. Uh -huh. And huh. Mecca really, to me, is Japanese. Um, mm -hmm. How does that feel yes. about it? So when you are talking in a story and you keep using the word Mecca and it does not yeah. fit in a sentence like the word Mech does, mm -hmm. that's a little pet peeve. So he, yeah. he's kind of going back and forth. Um, I think he uses the word Mecca too much. Um, but other than that, enjoyed it so far. But he is, uh, it's, yeah. it's not to give a whole lot away, but it's, uh, they, they formed a mercenary company. The guy that's, uh, yeah, the guy that's in charge of it is named Jonathan Slaughter. The name okay. of the company is Wholesale Slaughter. Uh, you know, I I think I'd like to get get the. I'm, I'm going to look those guys up. I think I may listen to that sometime yeah, soon. No, I'm about I'm a third of the way, half the way through the first book, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's good. Good. So the book I'm listening to is by Brandon Sanderson. It's called The Way of Kings. It's a it's a really it's part of a really big long series. It's the very first book. So. I can't recommend it yet because I don't know enough about it, but it's solid. I mean, the parts that I've listened to are solid, and I like really long, interconnected stories. So I, it's probably going to land well within my strike zone, I suspect. There was another series of books that I was caught up on. It's Drop Trooper, I think, is the um, the background name or something, and it just had a new book. Um, but I just got mm. notified on it. So, but it's... a uh, it's more powered armor um, rather than big mix or anything like that. But it's mm -hmm. it's been a good read. I, I'm I'm just assuming that you've read Starship Troopers I, by Robert Heinlein. I have. Okay. Seemed like it's the sort of thing you would have covered in your days. I do. I'm a big guy. That's one of my um, top ten books of all time. What about a book called Armor by John Steakley? Do, Steakley? do you know that I know John? I didn't know I that. Did. Yeah. He is actually from Dallas. Uh, his father owned Stakely Ford down there. And yeah. uh, so he, writ, uh, I met him at a show one time um, and have had spent, spent many of an hour with him at conventions. He also did a vampire book. Mm. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, I can't remember the exact name of it, but, uh, um, but it's a pretty, pretty good series. Um, that um, Crunchy Frog, which was a game company. I don't know if, if yeah. he's still around. I have or, heard yeah. of them. I don't... Um, he did a uh, role-playing version of, of the vampire. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. 
Cthulhu says he's uh, he's got dead mech. Is that the name of the book? Zombies and mechs. Zombies and mechs. That seems like an odd combination. Well, you know, I've, if you were in a zombie apocalypse and in a thirty foot tall mech, that would be a bad deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably way, better way to be in there. Than, yeah, yeah, probably. I, I, it's it's an interesting idea, especially if and you was like, like in Kurt... an agro mech or something like that with your little chainsaw arm and yeah. <laughs> a harvester. Yeah. yeah, be a harvester. We don't have we I don't know. have those in cab, by the way. No, no harvester yeah. mechs. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't look out in the field and see old M sixties towing plows. Yes, so Vam I'm, vampire, I'm yeah, vampires sense. with the money sign. Yeah, that's it. Was made into the movie John Carpenter's Vampires. I didn't know that. Hey, Gimli. So, but yeah, but John Stakely is. And Kruger End is reading the Garrett PI series by Glenn Cook. Never heard of it. Is it? Is it? What's it like? Kruger and tell us. Give us the one sentence synopsis. By the way, good evening, Gimli. Yep. I guess we never did do a sound check. I'm assuming everybody can hear us okay. I've moved my mic. I don't know if you noticed. It should be coming in a lot better. Yeah, your your sound is excellent. Good. Because I'm going to be spinning the oldies here in a little while. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, doing a little Wolfman Jack. A little Wolfman Jack. We're playing some Kiss. <laughs> party all, party you don't all night. Do that. That's it. They're gonna they're, they're gonna mute you. No, I, I I I didn't say it all in one sentence. <laughs> I sure it matters. I don't know. Who knows? If they mute me, they mute me. It's the precursor to the rock AI that Twitter yes. is using to. Uh, to scan all that music. I will I will threaten them with a cosmic uh, firestorm bombing from the rock at, at, twi <laughs> twi at Twitch HQ. Uh, we are sending a plasma lance your way. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now we're really going to get kicked off of here. Uh... Oh, Lord. Cthulhu says they have zombie-controlled mechs. That sounds like an anime if I've ever heard yeah. one. I, uh, if you've never read the Legion, uh, Legion of the Damned books by um, William Beats, those are some good books. Um, What's the back? Ground of it that is book? the futuristic what? version of the French Foreign Legion. Okay. And never heard of it. They, as a convict, you have an option to go into the Legion. Um, okay. If you have been convicted of a crime that you have been executed for, you can go uh, after you're dead, they give you the option of them taking your brain and putting it inside what they call a trooper two. So, so it's basically a, a mechanized body um, with the brain in it um, mm -hmm. that they're still conscious. They, they give them, there's things to keep them from going nuts, but they also have a larger quad that they can also go into. And the quad is kind of like the tank, mm -hmm. uh, artillery part of their force but it's a big four-legged walker that guys can get in and everything um kind of was a little bit of the um uh inspiration for the simba by the way hmm. interesting but uh there's four or five books um good books if you i think the original the first one is legion of the damned but it's uh william deets Maybe we get a chance we should start a little thread over on the Discord where people can come in and recommend a series or two. I always like mech books, armored guy books, stuff like that. I and I have I have a pretty low bar. I, you know, I I'll I'll read stuff but uh, but but that's a good way too. If if I read a book and I can't make it through mm -hmm. the first five pages 
chances are you're not going to want to read that book. <laughs> it must be pretty bad. Because uh, I have a low bar for stuff. I actually enjoyed Highlander yeah. too. So, so that should tell you a lot right there. Let's see. I can find, if I can so my... find something that I can latch on to to enjoy it or whatever, at least for an initial watch or something like that. So, mm-hmm. But if, if, I, if I say it sucks, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I I took it as just a, I just looked at it as an all new movie, and I was okay with it. I just I just figured it was a separate movie. I didn't even try to tie it into the first one. Yeah, a lot of times you just have to go into a movie yeah. going, you know, I, this isn't going to make sense. I'm just here to have fun. Um, I I can say with pretty much certainty that I could not stand well. I guess I not stand would be a because I did watch them all, but the uh, the last Star Wars trilogy that that was, was not that my was favorite. Rough. Yeah, but I, I love I loved love the new uh, Mandalorian. I have not watched the second season yet. I'm Allison, my wife, and I are going to watch it, but she likes to let them get ahead so we can kind of go back to back to back. Right. Like, like so I've, I've, yeah, yeah. I so I've seen the first season, loved it. Haven't seen anything of the second season, and I've been trying to dodge the the spoiler landmines. Yes. Well, I I've got big. I don't necessarily don't watch them for binge purposes. It's more mm-hmm. of I, I'm tired of getting a series and like it, and then it gets canceled mm-hmm. after the first season, and they didn't have a chance to finish and change and. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with. That. So, like, I I'm a huge DC Comics fan. I I love the Flash, but that that Flash CW series, I let that thing run for three or four years before I started it. For just that reason, I was like, I don't want to. The first year, I was like, oh, this is going to get canceled. It's just never going to be successful. DC struggles with this kind of stuff, and it survived. And so I finally jumped on, and then I just had, I was just able to binge watch that thing like. To my heart's content, it was wonderful, and it's a good series. I'm watching. I really I'm like that watching, kind of stuff. Um, Doom Patrol on HBO Max, right? Yeah, now. that's a good thing too. I like Doom Patrol. I, I, I'm like you. I have a low standard a bar or whatever you want to call it for uh, superhero movies. Now, it just ha- so happens that lately the superhero movies have been pretty darn good, but even the bad ones, I'm like, yeah, give me more. I'll take all of that. No, they they uh, they seem to like they're going to be doing a bunch of stuff with them with the DC stuff mm-hmm. on HBO. So I know that they've got there's a live uh, version of Titans on there. Teen yep. Titans. I haven't watched that was originally on the the DC app is where I originally watched that. Um, and uh, again, I take take everything I say about DC Comics with a word of you know caution, grain of salt, whatever, because I'm a gigantic fan. But I liked that. I thought it was pretty solid. I I, I enjoyed what they did with the Titans. Well, good. That give me something to look forward to. I, um... But uh, but yeah, no. There's and there's some doozies out there. But um, I I'll tell you the uh, you're looking for good hard sci-fi and some weird stuff too. Is there is a channel on YouTube called Dust? Yeah, you showed yes. me some of that. And they take they get a lot of. I think they do some stuff themselves, but I think a lot of it is projects from probably some of the film schools and stuff like that and and people from overseas that are doing stuff and with where Mm -hmm. computers and everything are right now i mean you know they drop spaceships and stuff into these things and you can't i mean they look better than what the movies are doing you know Mm -hmm. and um lots of good stories in there lots and lots of good stuff and they're usually five eight ten twelve minutes um, long and so quick, mm-hmm. quick watches and they're good. Wait them. I have been. Um, I cracked open my Marvel Unlimited subscription the other day and I started reading of all things She Hulk. Back in 2014, there was a nice little uh, run of She Hulk, uh, another one of my favorite characters, and I've been enjoying it. The art in there is really eclectic. I, I mean, borderline like. It's Picassian, some of it, 
but the story's good and it the art's consistent and and the person that's doing it knows what they're doing it's just their style and so it's okay it's it's not photorealistic right. or anything it's it's literally it's like picasso is drawing these comics but it, i'm enjoying the heck out of it i i really enjoy she hulk as a character and and i'm just a big comics fan so marvel's fine by me too i i it turns out i can be in love with both of them well, and if you like um uh animation and cartoon and stuff like that check out the new series on netflix called the liberators liberators it is a world war ii um it's actually my old unit the thunderbirds uh, 45th infantry division out of oklahoma oh really Uh, yeah but they are uh it's kind of filmed like the 300 was they used live people Uh and then all the backgrounds and everything were generated but they've gone back over and animated the people too. So it all has, huh. a, it's a, it's a strange style, especially for watching world war two, but it's good. I've, I've d- done the first two. I think there's only four of them. There's four one hour episodes, mm-hmm. but talking about them going through Italy and ger- up into Germany and everything like that. Cause they were, of course at world war two, they were all, it was all Mexicans, Indians and cowboys. So it's, Pretty pretty interesting. Hmm. So, that, Allison and I it's were, okay uh, to sneak in late ahead. sparks. We we're just kind of off on a dozen different tangents. I um, yeah, I've been up since like five o'clock this morning, which is really early for me, and I have had a lot of late nights for the last week. So I'm a tad bit loopy, so I'll just talk about anything. This might be a good time if you want to ask me weird questions. I might actually answer them for you. Come on, ask him you some broadsword questions, audience. We are. Oh, well, I'll talk about the broadsword. We are working on. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have some broadswords available. I hope we're getting close. Fine tuning them on the printers and everything like that to um, make sure we've got them. We want them to look as as good as we can with minimal cleanup. But. Uh, and I intend to do at least 10, five, maybe five, five or 10 that we will, uh, I'm gonna pre-paint and actually name them. Um, and they will become an official ship in the universe, have universe. Wow. With little, little bomber type art on the side of the cockpit and everything. Oh yeah, speaking of fighting piranha graphics. Uh, larger than normal rock transfers. Oh, we forgot again. Sorry. That's okay. You got it. Sorry. It, it just. Whoosh, whoo. What would John James rather fight? One broadsword sized con or a dozen con sized broadswords? Uh, I think I would go with the dozen con sized broadswords. Because oh, we could Let stop them. Wait a minute. I, so, I mean, Khan as in like the miniature or Khan as in the Cav universe thingy? I think he's as the miniature. Here's the thing. I'm not going to fight them. I'm just going to scoop them up and put them in my my box and I'm going to hold them and, and paint them and, 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 and love them and pet them and, and have a good time with them. You can have, you can have a whole... Um, that's one I, I, I look for a future updated version of. Because there's a lot of Con? there's a lot of variants that we put in in the game here mm-hmm. uh, that, yeah, that's based right. on the con chassis. So lots of lots of things that you can do with him. The swarm, yeah. The swarm, yeah. So that's why I was teasing about the Akula last week or whatever. Hovercraft with the rockets and swarm. Yep. Twenty or thirty of them. A score. A score of a Kula. A score of a Kula. You sure it wouldn't be a? a that's an indirect fire uh, vehicle, it right? Is, but you know. Like, so so maybe, maybe maybe it should be a rain of a Kula. A rain that would work. Either way, I think you could say swarm too. But. Yep. <laughs> swamp. A swamp. A swamp of. <laughs> okay so we've got through that all right we've got mm-hmm. 16 minutes 
choked. <laughs> I feel like we're on a treadmill and it's like, oh my God, I got to do another quarter of a mile. What's yeah. going on with my life? I made bad choices. I just, I, I just know that I'm going to sleep right now. Hopefully I'll dream of some great new con. Oh, you know, speaking of new things, um, uh -huh. I had meant to, I didn't bring the sheet with me, so I don't have it in front of me. Um, I sent you a, because we've been talking about AT guns and everything like that that you've been working uh -huh. on. Um, I had uh -huh. already started on a new weapon system for CAV for later down the road. Um, uh -huh. And I sent you kind of a preliminary um, version of that that you read. Is, think of it. is that the one you, you sent as a PDF it's in the, can, the, the chat yeah, group? The AT Cannon. Now, is that a, that's an Ethosing or is it a weapon system? It's a new weapon system. A new weapon system. All right. So, I mean, can I say the things I remember? Is that okay? That's fine. I, yeah. Cause we're going to, I was going to, I'm going to put it out pretty quick for a, um, for, for play test. if they want to start play testing. It. So as I recall, it's a, it's a, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one, but isn't it like you take an existing weapon system and you modify it with this? No sort of shotgun effect no it's an all new weapon system it is a it's an all new weapon yes, system it is a um high velocity anti vehicle anti armor cannon okay it, it is it cannot be um uh because of the the, the system and the size it it cannot be mm -hmm. a matched weapon so it's going to be a oh, single yeah, yeah. firing uh, you okay. only have I to, remember you talking about Yeah, this. it can only be mounted in a turret or in the front of a vehicle or a okay. the turret of a quad. It cannot be mounted on a on a normal cab. It's too bulky to go into a shoulder, is that what you're saying? Correct, because of the way the system and everything works like that. Okay. It has but, a lot of infrastructure inside the vehicle or right. the cab. And it is it is a very more it gets better the closer that you get. Okay. It uses multiple dice to roll. So you roll however many dice um, that is allowed, and then you pick the best two. So I think at short, in the short range band, it rolls 5d6. Okay. I think if I remember right, it goes 5, 4, 3, 2d6. So you roll 2d6 at extreme range. 3d6 mm -hmm. at long, 4d6 at medium, mm -hmm. and 5d6 at short. And you pick the best two. It has normal critical chances? You, you have two sixes. You get a, get a crit. Normal crits. That seems pretty good. It's range 9, if I remember. So mm -hmm. it would be 9, 18, 27, 36. Kind of a not quite short range, not quite. It's kind of a mid-range weapon. Yep. About where we wish PPGs were. It's the kind of weapon that if you are armed with it, you're not going to sit back at extreme range. It's, it's going to move you into the yeah. into the fight. Yeah, yeah. You want to rush forward. Interesting. So, is it a is it a weapon system that's going to be deployed across all the factions? Just probably as a general rule, just so that mm -hmm. everybody. You know, I, I try not to. You know, because I I always hate the fact that I mean I like. The factions to have uniqueness to them but i like it to be mm -hmm. more story driven as opposed to rule driven because i always hated um that i couldn't play a faction in a game because they didn't have this or you know i, I couldn't play with the other guys because they didn't have this so you know we've kind of kept the faction so they everybody's got their version of something um so that you mm -hmm. can play whatever you want to play without being left out You don't have to necessarily pick somebody. You can pick who you think is cool, but not be mm -hmm. slighted by their availability. So, in the in in your mind, in the fluff of Cav, is this is this like a like you're going to have some story event where this weapon is invented, or are we going to retroactively pretend like it's always been yeah, there? Yeah, it, it'll probably gonna... be more retroactive because it's actually a little more of a um, um, probably a second line type weapon you know because it would be mm -hmm. a lot since it's mainly vehicle mounted so lots mm -hmm. of defensive forces and and 
tank squads and stuff like that. So pro probably it'll be just kind of, it's always been there, you know, and we'll come out with some variants sure. and stuff like that. And it's just, nice. you know, and, and Cthulhu said something about a drone unit. Um, I have, I have thought often about putting in um, kind of drone soldiers, kind of like um, the, uh, what would be a good version? Um, District 9, I don't know if you remember in those, the, yeah. um, or not, was it District 9 or was it Elysium? Maybe it was Elysium that they had the, uh, drone or 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 what was that other one that they did chappy with the with mm -hmm. those those kind of things i think those would be kind of cool kind of an in between for yeah for chappy um that would be kind of a, a, a an infantry a new version of, of a way to do infantry so they'd actually be little guys scale wise in the game 10 millimeter infantry size but might be an interesting uh, addition there. Play with those. And so you're you're picturing something that's AI driven. It's not biological. Right. It's not biological. So it's, uh, it's yeah. you know like the like the droids in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You know, Roger, yeah. Roger. Well, that's that's going to get But they're us combat yeah, units. But they're combat. Yeah. Seriously, you're doomed. So actually, yeah, they're not droids. I. I am not challenging the fact that LucasArts owns the trademark and copyright to the word droids. It's Peace too out. Late. You're doomed. <laughs> so, so I, I mean, I'd like to throw an idea out there. Instead of, I mean, take the opportunity to make something that's actually a little bit bigger than powered armor infantry. I mean, think about it, right? So you've got this, this infantry squad, right? Um, a lot of times they would, I mean, in reality, they would get deployed with some sort of like a an anti-tank rifle or something, you know, so, some sort of an attached piece. You know, like in World War One, the French would take their 75 millimeter guns and push them forward with their infantry. Why not allow these things to be a little bigger and bulkier, maybe carry a, a slightly heavier weapon and attach one per infantry squad I, or something I, like that? Well, you know? I don't know that I would necessarily want to do them with my, my robot troopers or whatever, but I have also mm -hmm. considered... Uh, you know, uh, more of a an in between. You know, a, a, a smaller cav that would be more of right. a more of an advanced battle suit. Kind of in mm -hmm. the, what you're talking about, like that. That would be. I mean, something the size of like a, and I I can see one from here. That's why I'm going to say this weird term, but more like the size of a 28 millimeter gnome. You know, like. An inch tall, maybe. Yeah, no, that's why. Yeah, I mean, because your, your infantry is about ten millimeter, which is basically right. six feet. So I would think okay. that, um, which ten millimeter is just short of a half inch, technically twelve point okay. five millimeter, a half inch, or pretty close. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, if we made them twelve or fifteen feet tall, that would put them in about the mm -hmm. twenty to twenty five millimeter range. So three quarters to an inch tall i see, i love the idea of that i that sounds fantastic to me just something a little you know just to give a little more diversity on the battlefield yeah. i like this i mean idea. it's not that's... anything that's good either of these are not anything that's getting ready to happen tomorrow so don't start sending me email okay when are you going to do these because you talked about them they, and right now they are just ideas um down mm -hmm. the road for new stuff to introduce to the game um, that makes sense in the game universe without being mm -hmm. too weird, you know, cause I mean, at some point, you know, you, you, you want to have something new to try something new to put in there to, to move things around. And, you know, especially if we end up doing 28 millimeter, you know, when we do the 28 millimeter soldiers, you know, you could actually come back and do, you know, those bigger battle suits. So that was, would be, yeah, you know, that's exactly what I'm yeah. looking for in that 30 or See now, Chris. Chris described it as thirty-two millimeter, but I mean, it's it's whatever. They're they're, tw they're the twenty-eight big... because they're they're twenty-two millimeter overall. They're I mean, thirty-two millimeter overall. They are twenty-eight millimeter minis. So from the bottom of their feet to their eye level is twenty-eight millimeter. Anything right. over that goes. So it puts them about thirty-two millimeters tall. That's fine. 
I mean, as long as things are consistent, it doesn't matter. I just, there's a slight discrepancy in the way you guys were describing well, it. Sc- scale is, is weird, you know, because anytime you're talking in a, in a millimeter scale like that, you're not, it's not actually like a one one hundredth or whatever. That is, that right. is the scale of a person from the bottom of their feet to their eye or to the top. Mm-hmm. You know, every company does it different. Um, it even comes up to, um, uh, what you consider the average height of a man is. Um, you know, original scale was figured on a five foot three inch man. Um, there's not mm-hmm. a lot of five foot three inch men out there anymore, at least in the U S. So I'm sure there yeah, are some, if you look up what the average height around the world is now, it's five foot nine. So oh, wow. I go with six feet. I, I figure yeah. That's the direction we're going in the future. So if when I figure a guy, I figure he's six foot tall. So, so let's take a quick minute and, and respond to Sparks in the chat. Sparks wants a My Little Mermaid drone to be part of our your your world. He wants an aerial drone. I don't think that's probably what he may, meant. I'm assuming that that's the way that they spell aerial in Australia. Maybe. I don't know. Just pick another. I don't know. But... Just for you, Sparks, as you are a designer, uh, please, please get us an Aerial Mermaid drone ready to put in the game, and and it'll go in April. That will be our release for April, the 1st of April next next year. 1st of April. Yeah, an Aerial drone. And I'll hold you to that. Yeah. Be careful that you don't get Disney after us, though. So keep that in (laughs) mind. seriously. Uh, Keep that in the back of your head as you're coming up with those little putting those little fins and everything. But yeah, I back real quickly to the to the large scale inventory uh, models that you're talking about. If 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 that range includes some, you know, upscaled, you know, I don't I don't even know what the right word is, but powered armored suits that are that are oversized, you know, bigger than than your average man. Right. Um, the guy that, that Chris showed yesterday looked spectacular. But it was just kind of a guy in, you know, like Iron Man armor, basically. Right. If I can say the word Iron Man without getting us knocked off the channel. Um, it, we're, it we're, we are so it. screwed with Disney right now anyway. What's another one? <laughs> Throw it on there. Here, 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 where's the gas? <laughs> just just Throw light the match there. now. There you go. Yeah. So the guy, he, he, he looked like he was, he was the size of Iron Man in his armor, which is, you know, big guy, but not, not fantastically big. I would love to see some people that were bulkier and like more physically intimidating, you know, the way you read about in some of the, some of the cab stories. Right. Uh, what was that one? Not, not cab stories, the, the mech stories. What was that one that we read earlier in the year, John, the, the one where the guy was, can't think of the name of the series. The guy's mom like ran the company into the ground and then he built it back up from scratch. Oh yeah. That was the, G- the, uh, Cavaliers or GMs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I know who you're That's talking about. Yeah. Anyway, so those guys have, I don't know, sort of oversized powered armor suits that are that are not trim. And I just they're think like, the idea they're of like of, gears. They're gears yeah, out of yeah, heavy, heavy, like, heavy gear is what they basically are. Having a mixture of those two different styles available in this potential line of uh, sci-fi infantry models is super appealing to me. I like the sound of that a lot. Mermaid styled aircraft coming soon. Yeah, I, I, we, they might be a little bigger than that, Cthulhu. Like I said, I, in, if we were, if they were a 28 millimeter figure, they would end up being about probably the size of calves right now. They'd be about, about 50 mil, about two inches tall, scale wise. Huh. Yeah, that, that would be perfect. In, in fact, Honestly, some of the calves look like they would make really good suits. Like, I mean, the King Cobra. Right. I think that thing is almost perfect the way it is. If um, I'm, I'm guessing it would probably need hands instead of just weapon arms. But yeah, whatever. I'm not sure. That's that's the artist's choice, not mine. But no, it's something we have talked about and considered, and and uh, something maybe now, something uh, to look forward to. Now I'm super duper excited because now I'm thinking, okay, these large scale powered armor suits that are about the size of calves that are sci-fi for the infantry game can now kind of slide sideways and make an appearance in my calf game. Yeah. 
Um, are, what a are, you, are you are you going to be like a are you going to be like a twitcher and start emailing and calling me every other day? Hurry up and get them done. Hurry up and get them done. Hurry up and get them done. Don't twitch on me. You mean I don't, don't twitch on me? I don't do that already. Well, I mean, I, you've I got feel like that's you've my got job. It under control. I just don't. I'm afraid <sighs> now it's going to go full full on. <laughs> it's my job to represent the audience in your that's personal true. email you are, box. You are, that's my you job. You are the ultimate Cav fan and and have encompassed for everybody. I well, that's I know we're on Twitch, but I, that's why I was kind of was calling him. A, I call it. There's Twitch, and then there's a Twitcher. All right. Yeah. You don't want to be a I Twitcher. Mean, if I say you're a Twitcher, you need to back off. Back off, man. I, you nicknamed me Mad Dog, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's it's not, like, now that's it's time not to, Twitch, to, though. You're not Twitching. To bark. You're not a Twitcher. Uh, right. Tell me. Let me tell you about All my right. game last night. Ah. <laughs> Those guys. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not no, that bad. You're not that bad. Yeah, Mostly because I, I don't, don't get to play. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go down that path. Um, I because oh. one of the things that I I keep planning on doing at ReaperCon every year for the last four or five years is I wanted to make a little RPG scenario. You know, twenty eight with the have a kind of a little base or something that their special squad is breaking into to, but I never get to it. It always falls to the side. But maybe now with figures, I can do them. I, I, I challenge accepted. Let's do it. Because I've actually got, I, I painted up the two, because there's rock and there is, um, it's human and rock. And mm -hmm. uh, in Reaper's Coronascope line, they have mm -hmm. a rock and a Malvernus soldier. And then the mm -hmm. Nova Corps troopers, are mm -hmm. actually originally were for a cav infantry game so those were oh i didn't know yes, that. so all the nova troopers are um humans that were done for that particular game that never happened mm -hmm. so uh, i built two sides with the uh the rock and the humans and the rock might have a dictator of it too i'm not going to say that for sure but they might have a scale dictator <laughs> I think I've seen this picture you before. You might have. You might have seen. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. So hopefully, I will get that game done at some point for a quick little uh, one-shot cab RPG preview. Who knows? Sounds like fun. Because I'm not going to just... reinvent a new RPG game. There's enough open source mm -hmm. games out there that we can adapt to to play cab with without happen to try to reinvent the wheel plenty of them encourage you to do that do your version of all right well james it has come to be 902 mm -hmm. we are ready to close the evening off so we will do our last little five minute round table if you mm -hmm. type stuff really quick i will try to answer it um, if we don't see anything for a couple of minutes, I'm going to say good night and turn you off. So here it is. Type quick if you want to. Do, 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 That's got Thunderbolt right. win. Uh, like our Thunderbolt, which I think is, is that an aircraft for what the Ritter? A... What is it? Which one? I'm what? not sure. Who's the Thunderbolt? Who's, who got the Thunderbolt? He said yes. I mean, you must have hit it on the head. Yeah, I know that we did a mini that we called the Thunderbolt. Need more auto cannons. I agree. I tried to with the last batch of variants. There's a lot of a lot of them came out with auto cannons. Mm -hmm. um, Cossack has auto cannons, as I recall, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I think auto cannons are cool. I've blasted Benny. Everybody tries to go, oh, the auto cannons are not so bad. And then they forget about full auto. They're like, oh, wait a mm -hmm. minute. Five medium auto cannon aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> All the DACA. Okay. Yeah. It's an aircraft that stops itself in midair when it fires. Well, and right? that's the reason I called it the Thunderbolt because, you know, that's basically mm -hmm. 
what the Thunderbolt did in World War II. You know, it had all those uh, cannons on it. Mm-hmm. Blow, light, take out trains and tanks and all kinds of stuff. That was the P-47, right? Uh, Seven I, Thunderbolt? I think so. 47. Big, bad fuselage. Yeah. Yeah, big, flat, runny. A beautiful plane. Absolutely beautiful mm-hmm. plane. I Super mean, heavy they basically looking. the Thunderbolt turned became the um, uh, was it the A whatever that they used in right there at the beginning of Vietnam the propeller plane that you see in all the, mm-hmm. the, those planes they just they mm-hmm. took a Thunderbolt and said okay let's modernize the Thunderbolt so that we have something going in for the next war and that I forget what that it's an A something. I don't know what they called it in Korea. Yeah, but if you, no, it wasn't in Korea. I don't think they used it in Korea. I think it was. It, it came at the very beginning of. It was the close assault in Vietnam. But every time was you it see, Vietnam? yeah, if you ever every time you see a Vietnam movie hmm. and there's a single wing propeller airplane coming in and strafing and doing all that stuff, that is a, a direct descendant of Thunderbolt. And right, and then when they did the Warthog, originally the Thunderbolt two. They mm-hmm. just started calling it Warthog because that's what the pilot started calling it. But originally, it's a Thunderbolt too, mm-hmm. <clears throat> which is a Tuseki, by the way. You know, we get it. You get we we are full service. Uh, we will copy anything. Come on now, you know they retroactively looked forward in the future and saw the Tuseki and built the thund- the the Warthog. It never right? went out of style. They've they've built. There's like the A10. Mm-hmm. Uh, the A11, the A12, the A15, mm-hmm. and then they became the Tuseki and the Tuseki II. Mm-hmm. So a long, a long lineage there. So, but as far as I know, we're we're going to try to push some new planes because uh, we don't have a whole lot of planes out there. So maybe the Thunderbolt can go to the deal. We are right now. We have me and Chris was talking about the other day. I think we're we have a backlog of figures ready to go. To mold mm-hmm. of like 30, 30 or 40 figures. Oh, so uh, we're not really designing a bunch of new ones right now because we got to get those out first. But once the new system is in place and we're able to start hitting our production numbers, I think you'll see stuff coming pretty quick. Nice. All right. Well, uh, we're going to call it a night. So that was our, our little uh, round robin quickie. Um, in the future, you can have those already typed up and copy and pasted. And mm-hmm. Hit me quick right after, bam, 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 bam. One right after the other. And then I, I'll be so confused, I'll answer any. So, but anyway, uh, pay attention. I will be making an announcement here pretty soon about how you'll be able to get a sample of our new dual cast um, production system. And uh, maybe you get a chance to get your hands on that. Uh, we are going to be sending some out to some reviewers and to some of our painters and stuff like that. So um, pay attention to that. We'll, hopefully they'll give us high marks for, uh, for our new product line. So we will see. Other than that, good night. Everybody stay safe. Um, what? Let's see. What is? Or what are we going to do next week? Are, are we... Full schedule next week? As far as I know. So you're going to be on Monday night at 8 o'clock. Monday night working on the uh, anti-cav gun. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be doing the train show on Tuesday night, and then we will mm-hmm. be back Wednesday night. I'm good for Wednesday you're night. good for Wednesday night, too. Happens. Okay. So we will do, we'll do the full Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, Chris mm-hmm. will be on at 2 o'clock this Saturday. Um, I believe he plans on working on more of the 28 millimeter infantry stuff. So if you didn't get okay. to see any of that uh, last night, um, you will be back on doing that. So other than that, everybody stay safe, mm-hmm. wear a mask, do your part. Absolutely. All right. We'll see y'all later. Good night. Take care, all. <sighs> sure, all. Crappy email. Yep, it's uh, crappy emails about for the what? mask. You can't tell me you're you're part of the government conspiracy to make me wear a mask. I'm never oh playing cow. Do people again. really do that, John? Hey, you know what? I uh, my of course. 
you know, I think he did it on purpose, but Luke waited table side, right? And wore mm-hmm. his mask, says on the front of it, wear a mask. Yeah. He got some pretty pretty shitty comments. Really? God, people are so stupid. A couple stupid. of people refused to tip him. Hmm. You know, that's just people being cheap. Yeah, it's I mean, just people yeah. being cheap. And I told him that. They're all, those kind of people are always for a reason. But, but, you know, it's the same thing. People go, well, you know, so-and-so was wearing a mask and he caught it. And they've tried to tell everybody over and over and over, the mask is not to keep you from catching it. It's hopefully mm-hmm. if you and him both are wearing a mask and one of you are sick between the two masks, maybe he won't spread it. Mm-hmm. People die in car crashes wearing seatbelts. That doesn't mean it's not a good idea to wear a seatbelt. All right, you don't have to convince me. I know, I know. I'm just like, running on short sleeves. So. Be confrontational, um, man. Uh, um, I need some infantry, John. Okay. I don't have any. I went out and looked for them in my garage I mean, I, everywhere. I'm sorry, I forgot about your post. I, f- I forget what I was doing when you sent that, with that yesterday right. morning. I think I was dicking, Not a problem. dicking with that bathroom. So um, I did get it. I'll, I'll throw it in with you. I haven't actually mailed a, pack, okay. a package. Okay, good. Of, um, had it open, some stuff in there. All right, I appreciate it. I'm going to use them on the anti-cab bases. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do like a whole, like a four-stand kit of these guys. Okay. So that way, uh, did, you know, did you tell I'll be able to me, down did you tell me what kind of infantry that you wanted? I, I don't know that it really matters. I mean, just whatever you want to throw in there is fine by Light, me. Light, heavy, or power armor? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty heavily armored piece. So let's at least go with heavy or powered armor, probably. Whichever one floats your boat. Whichever one you want to show off. You right. you made some new heavies recently, right? Yeah, the, all the heavy is all all brand. The, I mean, if you want to throw throw those in, just whatever. I just want a couple of guys to stand around on the base to make it look like they're controlling the unit or something. Okay. All right, all right. Sounds like a plan. Appreciate it, man. All right, you too. Uh, I will see you later. Yep. Be careful. Bye bye.